This is the Coin Market Cap Update with your host, Crypto Keith. We'll see which coins are leading and which coins are falling behind, which coins are good to buy and which coins are good to sell. So stay tuned for another interesting episode. Hey, what's up, guys? Crypto Keith here with Crypto Living. Please check out our Twitter, follow us because we always have good uh, trading signals and uh, things like that news uh, for you guys. So check that out at Crypto Living on Twitter. We have a story today Amazon just bought up three domain names related to cryptocurrencies. So I was thinking about doing this too. It's a very smart thing to do. It would have been the smarter thing to do even before now, but still, you can still get some domain names out there that will be needed in the future. It seems Amazon wasn't trying to profit off these domain domain names. They're actually using them for themselves. So they bought AmazonEthereum.com, AmazonCryptocurrency.com, and AmazonCryptocurrencies.com. So, I think that Amazon is planning to create their own cryptocurrency. Why wouldn't they? For one, they also um, are probably creating a cryptocurrency on the Ethereum network. Um, and that's why they bought Ethereum. Uh, AmazonCryptocurrency.com would mean that they are planning to create their own cryptocurrency. That's pretty interesting. AmazonCryptocurrencies.com could be a new site related to cur- cryptocurrencies. They uh, registered them on Tuesday. And uh, it comes after Bitcoin surpassed a massive milestone in their market cap. And um, if we go over here to, uh, to Bitfinex, Amazon is currently, tr- or sorry, Bitcoin is currently trading. Where do we have it? At $7,283. So I am also surprised. We have something called data on here now, I guess. Um, I'm surprised a lot with the EO price as well. EOS and uh and the bitcoin cash price is blowing me away i made the decision stupid decision to sell some of my bitcoin cash and then it goes and doubles in price surpassed 600 and it looks like it's gonna pass 700 now so that's all i wanted to say about that Let's go to the cryptocurrency market caps. So obviously we have the same top uh, cryptocurrencies for market cap. Bitcoin has a market cap of $122 billion. And the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies passed $200 billion. So those are some interesting uh, numbers now let's go to change so for top change we have Zencash which was on the bottom the the biggest drops for yesterday we have BitQE uh, and Factcom so we haven't had a chance to look at Zencash yet so we're gonna do that and we're also gonna look at BitQE because uh, I've I've seen it, people talking about it all around the internet, and uh, now it's my chance to look into it a little bit. We have over here Temi, the personal robot that's being advertised. <laughs> Let's check that out really quick, just for fun. The new way to connect. 
you at the center. Whoa. It's like having a dog, a pet, but an, an electronical, technological pet. So fucking weird. So fucking weird. If you didn't know yet, guys, we are in the future. This is a uh, some good proof of it. And before we look at these cryptocurrencies, there's another uh, interesting ad here that I saw for Take Profit. And so what Take Profit is doing is they're giving you um, the best cryptocurrency trading signals from all over the world. And I like how this platform um, is laid out and how it's supposed to work. So it's scam free. Don't be fooled by unknown telegram channels taking a fee for subscription. Our platform allows you to check traders profile and rating rating system. Every trader gets a personal rating and it calculates the signals given and their success score, which is amazing. So it's it's blockchain run. Um, authenticity and uh, feedback scores. Traders are able to set their own price for subscription, and they also get to post free signals to everyone. Wow. Blockchain verification. Every signal gets processed by one timestamp, and you can make sure it was published at the right date. We have two-way API allowing you to connect your trading robots to give you signals, to give signals, or develop your own trading bot using our signals database. Wow. Got stuck in a coin and don't know should you sell or hold it? Find a trader and ask him for advice. This is going to come in such uh, need and, and it's going to be so handy for, for beginner traders because you really have, you're trading blind when you first get in. You have nothing to go by. So this is needed more than you know. So this is the roadmap. Uh, it looks like it's more of a project for 2008, but they are starting uh, probably the pre-sale here yet in 2017. It's an ERC-20 Ethereum token, meaning it's built on the Ethereum blockchain. And this is the team. They will be on the cryptocurrency market cap before you know it. They will be listed. So we'll, we'll look for them in the future. And we might buy into their uh, pre-sale. It does look like a good uh, project. So over here at Zencash, it's currently trading at $24. And it's trading on... Let me say Bittrex, yeah, Bittrex and Cryptopia for the most part. So here's their site. Uh, reliable platform for communications, transactions, and publishing. Publishing. Private transactions, private communications, and secure and anonymous publishing. So something like Telegram, maybe. Commerce and communications for all. Instantaneous communications and transactions designed for the world and for the future. Secure nodes, funding for continuous operations, promoting the value of individual privacy worldwide. So it's a privacy coin. Communicate any type of size of information. So you can send a message uh, that is of any size. Integrating with IPFS helps build the Internet's next web. Remains the original version of the open and flat web and de de delivers the technology which makes that vision a reality. So uh, interviews with the team. You can come here and check out more. There's all sorts of information here. Uh, it does. So they have a GitHub page too. And... Um, to me, it seems like this is a, a Japanese coin. 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but let's look at their team. and Yeah, China Operations, Asia Operations. So it's a worldwide coin, but that's Zen. I don't know if I'll be getting into it. Now let's move on to our next coin, BitKiwi. So one tenth bit quick per valorem cop. It looks like it's um, Latin. BitQE, the official cryptocurrency of BitQuick. So BitQE holders corporate governance voting event. Our first co every corporate governance voting event has finished. This uh, grammar is very bad, by the way. It was extremely successful. We voted on three issues. The threshold for voting the amount of BitQEM to be minted. The setting of, of community. So it's minted, which is disgusting. Learn more about BitQE. The founders of BitQE Inc. held a live stream event earlier this year to announce the completion of the newest cryptocurrency on the market. The company has just completed the development of BitQE token and will be sharing their success story. So you can go to more media here to find out more. They have their Facebook page here. We like it. Yeah, we can like it. We'll get more news. Uh, so yeah, it's it's under a buck. It's actually under 10 cents. So it's a good time to buy this. Um, it's on these public exchanges, which don't look like very many. Let's check that out again for ourselves. Exchanges, markets, it's on Decentrex, Ether Delta, all these small exchanges. Nobody's going to be buying this uh, at these exchanges. I don't think I know anybody on these exchanges. So um, let's see if there's another way to buy it directly. You can get your quick wallet here and uh, you should be able to buy from their website. We'll see here. So total supply is 10 billion. That's a lot of tokens, guys. No wonder it's so cheap. So it's actually not cheap. How many tokens are out right now? 70% is allocated for public acquisition rewards, 25 for the founders. Um, at the discretion of the founders, an additional 10% might be allocated from the public acquisition portion for special projects, growth events, such as mergers and acquisitions, charity, etc. BitQuick affiliates become token holders by earning BitQE through actions and activities taken through the BitQuick network of business. 86 million are held for rewards distributions. So they have some sort of reward system. They have a white, a white paper, media kit. I don't know about this. This BitQE. But I don't want to. Uh, I want to at least figure out whether I am going to invest in it or not, so I could tell you. You can mine cryptocurrencies at less than half the going price. Providing an attractive opportunity for those who want to be a part of this concept in mine. So as added benefit for every 100 bit QE tokens rewarded, the company will expand the facility's capacity by 10 to 110 to 120 watts. So the more they pay out, the more that they're going to mine, basically. 
So each BitKiwi token gives the holder access to one watt of the mining facility's capacity, also known as the tokenization of capacity. Token holders are either can either choose to, to use the allocated power to run their own equipment, rent it out to other miners, or let our team of experts manage it for them. In other words, rewarded BitKiwi tokens represent space on shelves to allocate mining equipment at the company's facility. Also BitQEM holders are charged less than half the standard hosting fee rate which makes running your own mining equipment more attractive. Okay, makes more sense. BitQuick has launched a sibling cryptocurrency under the name BitQE. So they're two different cryptocurrencies. However, the plan and purpose of BitQE is to support the company's cryptocurrency mining and data center operations. BitQuick will use these facilities. Okay, so you're buying BitQEM, and what this represents is your capacity um, at the center that they they have to mine BitQE. So they're selling BitQEM just to help. Uh, mine BitQE. So you're funding the mining of BitQE and with that you get extra, you get um, you get a cheaper rate, things like that. So to me it kind of, from what I've looked at, it looks like kind of a scam cryptocurrency but I, uh, I've got to say I'm not, uh, I'm not satisfied with the amount of information that I have so let's see how many coins are here. We have circulating supply, 1 billion. We have 1 billion bit Q, BQ in, in circulating supply right now. Most coins don't have um, a, a billion. Let's see where bit Q is on there. They're not the worst, but as you can see here, these companies have 100 billion, 65 billion, 25 billion, 9 billion, 4 billion, until we get down here, 2 billion. IOTA has, I never liked that about BitShares. It had way too many coins at 2 billion. It has right now, and that's why the price um, is still where it's at. So, I think the biggest flaw the Kiwi has is the amount of tokens it's holding. Even Steam, there's only 245 million in existence, and those are used every day to uh, upvote, to pay out bloggers, and to do all sorts of things. They're, they're being used. So I don't really see the, the use for BitQE. And for that reason, I'm going to have to say I'm not going to invest in it at this point. But I am going to keep my eye open for more information because I'm not satisfied on that little bit of information that I have gotten. Um, although I did do a, a pretty good scan of the website. So that's all for today, guys. Um, Bit Petite is still down. So... Let's keep our eyes open for the next couple days. And uh, I think a lot of people are expecting it to not come back at this, this point. And it, it just goes to show how everybody is after your Bitcoin. There are numerous people out there in the world that want your Bitcoin. And they're going to try desperately to get it. You have to be cautious and don't always believe um, if something seems too good to be true, it usually is. So I'm going to have to make that back somehow if, it, if I have lost that, which a lot of people are saying we've lost our money. So you have to at least consider it as a possibility that um, these people have ran off with our money. And it, it, it's pretty sad, but when things like this happen, I just move forward. I, um, I, got, I was on Bitfinex. When they got hacked and $50 million worth of cryptocurrencies were taken and it resulted in, in us losing about a third of what we had on here. 
at that point I lost it was about six hundred dollars and I thought that was the end of the world but if you look at that now six hundred dollars is nothing and I've made a lot more than what I've lost so we will recuperate very quickly those who uh, have been scammed if we've been scammed and we will get back on track and we will look back and we will have made a lot more than what we have lost at this point so you have to look at the bigger picture and if you're still in um, the positives you still made money off cryptocurrencies then you're doing good you've made more right choices than bad choices just learn more if you just go in there blind and you're not learning you're not learning trading tips you're not learning um, taking advice and things like this then you're never going to progress and you're never going to uh, get to the point where you're not losing money so we lose money because we make mistakes and mistakes teach us so in the overall picture it's a good thing that you lost it now rather than making hundreds of thousands and then putting it into there and then losing it then so there's always a positive I am uh, on BitConnect as well and BitConnect has been impressing us BitPetite hasn't been so I decided to put a little bit more money into Bit, uh, BitConnect I put a thousand dollar loan in there my first thousand dollar loan so I'm gonna let you guys go have a great day we'll see you tomorrow I'm Crypto Keith and I'm out.